hot comics, dope covers, and first appearances. You know what time it is. Go grab your vibe juice and meet us back here in the comic room. We got a lot to talk about. Books are swirling all over the market. I couldn't wait to talk about it. I had to put this list together. Welcome back, everybody. You know, it's Keep It Comics. I'm your boy, C3, and I'm here with another weekly top 10 update on the market to show you what's hot, what's spiking on the market, books that you might want to stay away from, and definitely those first appearances and those grails that you may want to add to your collection. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. As always... It's good vibes only. Hit the notification button so that every time I drop a video, you wonderful people don't miss out. All right? We are going to. Oh, I needed that. Start the list off at number 10. This book wasted no time heating up. You know, it's, com it's customary for us to start our list off with a hot modern book. This book fresh out the gate. So let's put a spotlight on Avengers Twilight, issue number five. And this is the Alex Ross regular cover. All right, guys, this is the first full appearance of Red Skull Armor. All right. So, yeah, the comic community, comic book community picked up on this right away. This book began to go up. It's up 77.8% right now uh, with the average price going for like $11. Now, this book just came out this week. So there's no graded information on this book, but I'll keep my eye out on it. We've had a total of 20 sales so far with a high sale of $19 for a raw copy that sold back on the 17th, which was only a couple days ago. So you can see this book is starting to spike up uh, pretty quickly now, all right? So keep your eye on it. Now, Red Skull's Armor is creating a little bit of buzz. Check it out. It just hit. If you got, if you go out for, on the hunt this weekend, this may be a book that you want to put on your list, all right? Avengers Twilight, issue number five, that Alex Ross cover. It's moving, guys. All right. Now, not for nothing, right? But all these ultimate titles that we're seeing, they're really spiking. They're really doing well. Uh, they're making a lot of noise on the, on the market. So I'm going to continue to highlight these books as we go along. Now, this is a big time collectible. This is a big time collectible Miko Suyan uh, exclusive variant, and this and the title of that book is Ultimate Invasion, issue number one, and it's super hot right now. All right, now this book is limited to a thousand copies, uh, and it's the first appearance of Peter Parker and the Ultimate Spider Man of Earth 6160. Oh, yeah, this book is up 55.34 percent with a high sell of $32 already. All right, and that was back in February. So the last recorded sale for this book was $17. Now, we have an average sale for this book. The average price for this book is going for like $17. Again, modern book, very fairly new. There is no graded information on this book, but it continues to make waves on the secondary market. We've had a total of 34 sales for this book on the secondary market so far. All right? So keep your eye out on this book because it's super hot right now. The only thing hotter than this book is this channel. Keep it comics. <laughs> All right, so make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell. I drop a list every week. I'll keep you informed when you're out there for the, for the books that you may want to add to your list while you're out there on the hunt. And I have a great I have a great time doing it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much. That is my public service announcement. Keep it comics. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. We are only here for the love of the hobby. at the list at number eight. One thing's for certain is this book continues to stick around, right? So I know that the comic book community uh, has some enthusiasm for this book. Back on the list at number eight, we have to talk about Champions, issue number one, and this is the Humberto Ramos regular cover. This book continues to, it, it, it gets hot, it cools off, it gets hot, it cools off, but seeing how uh, Marvel has to do some restructuring because of the loss of Jonathan Majors. There's a strong possibility that we could see Young Avengers, right? So this is the first team appearance and origin of the champions, Miss Marvel, Spider-Man, Nova, Hulk, Viv, Vision, and Cyclops. Anything's possible at this point. See is now how Marvel has to uh, put, another, put another puzzle together, right? So 
This book is up 47.94% increase in copies sold, right? Average price for the raw copy is $5. Average price for the graded copy will run you roughly about $31. There has been a total of 1,101 sales of this book recorded so far, with the high sale of $415, and that was for a 9.8 that sold back in 2021. Uh, and if that's out of your price range, don't worry, because fair market value has this book uh, resting at $5 for near mint copy in raw condition. All right? So you, you, you can still get your hands on this book for not a lot of money. Now, like I said, with, with Marvel needing to do some restructuring because of the loss of Jonathan Majors, there is a strong possibility that we could see uh, Young Avengers, something, concern, some, something concerning them, pop up in the future. All right? So just keep your eye out on it. At the list at number seven. Now, here's a DC book I'm sure many of you can appreciate. This book is Crisis on Infinite Earths, issue number one. And this is the first appearance of Blue Beetle, Ted Cord, in the DC universe. The first appearance of Pariah, and first Alex Jr., Alex Luther Jr., and first full appearance of the Monitor. All right, yes, I was able to get it out. This book is up 42 Point twenty one percent with the high sale of three hundred dollars for a nine point eight that sold back in twenty twenty two. Last recorded sale for this book was just four dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent price point for buying. Average price for a raw copy will run you about eleven dollars. Uh, average price for a graded copy is eighty nine dollars. Anti matter destroying the universe has always been my jam, right? That's always been a good theme. That's always been DC's thing. Anti matter. Uh, we've had a total of 595 total copies. Uh, if there's ever time for the, <laughs> for, excuse me, <clears throat> if there's ever time for the team to need to stand together, now's the perfect time, all right? DC Universe has me excited. I love when these books pop up on the list because, you know, DC doesn't get the, the respect or the love that it deserves. And on another note, even though I know it's not in continuity, I am super excited about that new Joker and, and uh, Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn movie. I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer. If you haven't, check it out. I'm pretty stoked about it. Can't wait to see it. It looks like it's going to be super ill. All right. Now, Crisis on Infinite Earths, issue number one. Keep your eye out on it, guys. If you need it, now may be a good time to get your hands on one. And make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you what I picked up on New Comic Book Day just this past Wednesday. Not a big haul, but nonetheless, some great books that I wanted to add to my collection and that I want to share with you. Why? Because it's good vibes. I just want to make sure you guys are kept up to speed on what's going on out there. At the list at number six, if you're new to the hobby, Ask the OGs about this book. Ask the OGs about Adventure Comics issue number 371 because it's a classic Silver Age book and it's the first appearance of Chemical King. Yeah. Ask the, if, you're new to the, if you're new to the hobby, find the OG and ask them about these types of books and watch what they tell you. All right. This book is up 50.90% with the average price for a raw copy being $5. Average price for a graded copy is $384. There's been a total of 272 total sales for this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. This is going to be a tough book to get your hands on in high grade. Uh, we had a high sale for a CGC 9.6 back in 2022 where this book sold for $699. There's only one 9.8 on the census, ladies and gentlemen. So good luck getting your hands on that, right? Um, fair market value has this book resting at $5 for the raw copy in very good condition. It has 71 universal grades on the census, five 9.6s, 16 9.4s, and of course, lower grades go for a lot less. Keep your eye out on this book because it's up again and it continues to move on the secondary market. These books never go away. These books are gonna always add, add, have value and add value to your collection, all right? Adventure Comics issue number 371 is doing what it do. I changed my vibe juice, guys. As you can see, I can't put the cup down. 
I got to put it down because I don't want to spill nothing, <laughs> especially in the comic room. Holy smokes. All right, guys, we've made it to the halfway mark. So I want to do what I always do, which is thank each and every one of you for stopping by and checking out the channel, man. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Leave a comment down below. I always appreciate chopping it up with you guys. And guess what? It will always be good vibes only when you stop by. So check your nonsense at the door. Be ready to have some fun, share a laugh or two, and get the information you need so that when you go out there on the hunt, you're informed. Yeah, nah, you're not just digging through the bins randomly. You know what you're looking for. Absolutely. And I'll always have a trivia question for you guys. Do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. And can somebody please tell me? Let's see. Let me pick a good one. That's a good one. In what comic book issue did Wolverine make his first appearance? <laughs> I know. That's a toughie, right? Now, look. We all know about the debate. Everybody chime in. In what issue did Wolverine make his first appearance? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I always said I was never going to get involved in it, but I couldn't help but I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. It's good vibes only. Thank you for hanging out with us. This is what we do, and this is how we do it, is keep it comics, because that's what it is, all right? Now, back at the list at number five, guys, we're going to talk about a book that continues to show up on the list. It continues to spike on the market. People are really enjoying uh, the series, and we have to talk about the Transformers, issue number 11. This is the, the direct edition and the first appearance of Jetfire. Absolutely. This book is up. 114.55%. The comic book community has spoken. This book has a high sell of $250 that took place uh, back in 2023 for a 9.8. All right. Now, you can really see that this book is starting to turn into a fan favorite. The last recorded sale for this book was $3, guys, uh, with the average price for a raw copy being $7. Average price for a graded copy are running about 200 bucks. We've had 296 sales of this book on the secondary market so far, and this book continues to climb, all right? Now, this is a hot book, great story, beautiful artwork. Uh, everyone's, listen, everybody's talking about how X-Men 97 has revitalized the X-Men run. Well, guess what? The same can be said about, um, what's the word? Void Rival and the Transformers, because Void Rivals have definitely sparked new interest in the Transformers series. So these books are hot, guys, so keep your eye out on them. The community has spoken. I listen to you guys, and all I do is regurgitate the information. I know that sounds gross, right? All right, so what I do is just uh, share the information that I learned from you guys. <laughs> all right, it's good vibes only, and I appreciate the information. Because that book is definitely on the move. Yo, for the first time in a long time, I actually think I'm going to finish the Vibe Juice before I finish the video. Are you kidding me now? Oh, my goodness. All right. At the list at number four, we got to highlight the Defenders issue number 28, the regular edition. And this is the first appearance of Starhawk. Oh, yeah, guys. Starhawk is up 114.50%. All right. Average price for the raw copy is $16. Average price for the graded copy are running about $62, bucks, maybe maybe a little bit more, but not, nothing crazy. There's been 712 total sales for this book that has changed hands on the secondary market so far. We had a high sale of $2,300 for CGC 9.8, but that was back in 2021. Now, excuse me. Whew, yeah, that vibe juice is blazing. Fair market value has this book resting. At six at sixteen dollars for the raw copy in very good condition. So if you're in the market for the Defenders issue number twenty eight, keep your eyes out on it, guys, because it's moving on the market, and you know what that means. You want to get to it before everybody finds out about it, and these prices continue to go up. Always remember the list that I bring you is is a list of comic books that not a lot of people have gotten wind of yet. So there's still opportunity for you to get them for not a lot of money. But once everybody starts hearing about them, these books will continue to increase in value. 
And you know what that means, right? Let the feeding frenzy begin. <laughs> and I always try to avoid the feeding frenzy. All right. At the list at number three, we have to talk about X-Men, issue number 54. And this is the first appearance of Alex Summers, who later becomes Havoc in The Living Pharaoh. <coughs> Excuse me. Later becomes The Living Monolith, plus The Origin of Angel. Right. Yeah. This book is back up. This book is up too. 277.66% with a high sell of $1,495, guys, right? That was for 9.4 back in 2021. Last recorded sale for this book is just a few days ago, and that was for $750, right? Average price for the raw copy, $50. Average price for the graded copy, $256, my guys, with 615 total sales so far on the secondary market. Fair market value does have it resting at $50 for the raw copy in very good condition. All right. Now, listen, be sure to make be sure that you check out X-Men 97. If you have not been watching this series, please go to Disney. It, it, in my opinion, it's worth getting Disney Plus for. I would get Disney Plus just to watch it. X-Men 97 is phenomenal. Like, man, listen, I... Not the pre, not this last one that they just dropped, but the one before that, man, if you, man, listen, and you guys, ugh, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Leave a comment down below. How have you guys been enjoying X-Men 97? Man, I've been really enjoying it. Whew. And I, I might've been a little traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I might've been a little traumatized. But super dope, man. So that's my plug. Check out X Men '97, man. You 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 won't be disappointed. All right. At the list at number two, guys. This entire run is starting to spike. I just want to make you aware of that, so you can go look for all of these books and find great comic books, awesome stories, add value to your collection, and continue to support your local comic book shops. This entire run is starting to spike. So. Uh, I'm, I, I, I appreciate the major movement that I'm seeing in this run because I appreciate the hobby. I appreciate and love the hobby. I love collecting. And whenever I see these books in stores, like I have a particular store that I go to that have great a great number of these books. It's like one of the first sections that I go to because I like finding those first appearances and pull them and add them to my collection because they're still out there, right? So let's talk about Tales of Suspense, issue number 94, and this is the first appearance of MODOK. <laughs> yes, this is the first appearance of MODOK. Now listen, I know in the last movie, they might have portrayed him to be like a little whimsical, but it's still MODOK, right? And he still got his he still got his chance on the big screen. Nonetheless, in the comic books, MODOK is a beast, right? Absolutely. So I respect him from that level. His book is up right now. Last recorded sale for his book was $3,751. $3,750. Let me be accurate, right? Now, this book is up 280.45% with the average price for a raw copy going for $47 and the average price for the graded copy going for $220. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, we've already seen uh, a 1,230 copies that have been sold on the secondary market, right? 1,230 copies are already moving on the secondary market with a high sale of $12,600 for the 9.8. And that was back in 2020. Sales are up in this particular book. And I see that this book is going to continue to go up because Modoc is a classic villain, man. And a lot of people love him. This book is going to be super tough for you to get in high grade. Also, there are only six 9.8s on the census, right? Yeah, so, you know, you probably have a better chance of going after the 9.6s. Um, and fair market value has this book resting at $47 for the raw copy in very good condition. This is definitely a hot book, right? And this book is only going to get hotter. And like I said, the only thing hotter than this book and these books is this channel, Keep It Comics. So be sure to like, subscribe, share. It really helps us out a lot. Hit that like button, man. Give us some thumbs up. Thumb me up, B. <laughs> All right, guys. Look, 
I appreciate each and every one of you, but you know what it is. It's time to talk about the number one hottest comic book on the market. And that book is Tales of Suspense, issue number 50. And this is the first appearance of the Mandarin. I know, yes, yes, the Mandarin has come back around. Now, listen, for, for the way that they have downplayed the Mandarin in the past, is this book really worth $7,806? Look, I don't know, but somebody sure thought so. Uh, so let's talk about it. This book is up a ridiculous 381.74%. And this book is on fire, guys. This book is definitely doing well on the secondary market. We had a high sell. That high sell was $7,806, like I said. Um, and the Mandarin's first appearance, is it worth that much? Right now in this climate, I don't know. I wouldn't pay that much, but again, I'm just me. Now, average price for the raw copy is going to run you about $149. Average price for the graded copy, $911. The 9.8 in this book has got to be through the roof right now. I'll leave it at that. The 9.8 in this particular book has to be through the roof right now. There's been a total of 407 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market, and this book is still climbing. But the beautiful thing about it is fair market value has it resting at $149 for the raw copy in very good condition, right? This is an unforgettable Silver Age book. I would love to see the man the Mandarin on the big screen, uh, portrayed the way he should be portrayed, getting the respect that he, deserve, he deserves because he is a formidable uh, villain. And that's just my opinion on it, all right? But listen, that's your book. That's the list. I hope you're excited about going out on the hunt this weekend because I know I am. I will be going out looking for new X-Men comics and all types of books to add to my collection because... The market is really moving right now, and it's a great time for you to get your hands on some of these comic books, all right? So, be careful, execute wisely, never jump out of the airplane without a parachute. <laughs> the landing is never what we think it is. All right, guys, it's good vibes only. I appreciate you. Let's check out what I picked out for new comic book day. Here's my little package. <laughs> don't go there alright look I'll show you what I got as you can see it's not a bunch but they are super dope and I wanted to share them with you alright now one of the books I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this is issue number 2 and if I'm not mistaken I think this is Shredder's Daughter and I hope you guys are getting ready man because uh Free Comic Book Day is coming around. There's going to be a lot of awesome books that are popping up. I know I'm excited about it. We grabbed Wonder Woman, issue number eight. The Lobos cover. This is fire. At first, I thought this was Hughes. Yeah, I kind of thought this was Adam Hughes in the beginning. But very nice. Let me see if I can get my hand out of the way. Bingo. There you go. That's nice. We got... Nightwing, issue number 113, and this is that milestone, 300. Nightwing finally made it to 300 issues. <laughs> Good job. Here we go. We just highlighted this book, Avengers Twilight, and this is issue number five, Chip Zdarsky, Killing the Game. Check it out. First Red Skull's Armor. Next up, book that I have is Star Wars, The High Republic, issue number one. Star Wars, High Republic Adventures. Listen, they're calling it, this is the kiddie version of Star Wars, but yo, this book is, they, yo, they have good reads, man. This, this book is really interesting and, and fun to read. So I don't care if it's a kiddie book. I'm going to read it now. That's it. Okay. Next book for Marvel, Giant Size Hulk. And this is Giant Size 50th Edition, issue number one. We'll see what it does. Yo, 
You guys know I'm a big Miles fan, so we got Miles Morales, issue number 19. Yes, beautiful. And last but definitely not least, we have, remember I spoke about the Ultimate books. They're doing well, Ultimate Black Panther. This is issue number three. They're being solicited as first appearances, but I don't really think they're first appearances. They're not first appearances of the... If the person already appeared, you know, if they may be drawn a little different, but it's the same person. But I guess there's like some, they're calling it the first appearance of Ultimate Storm. <sighs> Excuse me. You got, I'm still sick, but I'm okay. But I don't know. First appearance, I don't know. You know, they, they keep doing it. They, 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 and so I picked up the variant cover. <laughs> I picked up that variant. All right, beautiful artwork. This is a cover purchase for me. I'm gonna read, I, you know, no, the first book, the first cover I just showed you, that's the one I'm gonna read. This one I just picked up for the cover. Super dope cover. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, who is that? Is that supposed to be that other, the other person? Ultimate Killmonger, I guess? I guess. We'll see. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Those are the comic books that I picked up this past new comic book day. I hope you're able to find some of these books while you're out there on the hunt this weekend. Enjoy yourself, babe. Have fun. Look, man, don't let nobody stress you out. The hobby is supposed to be fun. Don't let it be anything less, and don't let nobody take that from you. I appreciate you. I'm around like a circle, but I'll be back like that. Look, it's your boy C3. It's Keep It Comics, and you know what it is. It's always good vibes only. I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> yeah, because you know what it is. <laughs>